Hi guys, Ryde here from Coffee Beans Delivered and we just got in a delicious new single origin specialty coffee that I want to share with you. Here I have some Mexican coffee from a little cooperative of about 100 farmers down in the state of Nayarit. Nayarit is a small state located on the western seaboard of Mexico, about a thousand kilometers northwest of Mexico City. And it's actually considered the birthplace of the Aztec ancient civilization. Now, many of you think Mexico, that's mostly a desert wasteland, but don't let Hollywood movies like The Three Amigos confuse you. It's actually a vast and diverse and rich country with jungles and grasslands and lots of water. Perfect for growing coffee. Now, a bit of history on Mexico. It wasn't actually until around the 1700s that they were introduced to coffee. It was brought over by the Spanish settlers from Cuba and the Dominican Republic. And while coffee used to be a very small export compared to their minerals like gold and silver, the agricultural exports grew dramatically in the early 2000s. And now, Mexico is actually the 10th largest producer of coffee and the world's number one producer of the organic coffee. Mexico is also famous for its revolutionary technique to make decaf coffee using glacial waters collected from the highest mountain range in Mexico. And we also sell some of this coffee on our store. So if you want to taste some coffee that tastes as amazing as regular coffee, but decaffeinated, check it out online. While most of the coffee in Mexico is grown down near the southern borders of Mexico, where their most famous regions are Chiapas, Veracruz, and Pluma, there's a lot of jungles and mountain ranges down there perfect for growing coffee. However, the state of Nayarit is not really well known for its coffees, but the cool air coming off the Pacific Ocean and hitting the Sierra Madre Occidental mountain range creates a beautiful microclimate where this coffee is grown. This coffee first came to Nayarit in about 1860s when some French families settled there and they brought some of their coffees with them. And it's believed that there's still some coffee trees there that are over a hundred years old. And now, the Grupo Tarunya Narita, and I'm sorry I probably butchered that name, is a small group of farmers which are very skilled in using organic methods to process the coffee. And they actually own a milling station as well, so that means they have control right from the very start of the growing process through to the natural processing, through to the milling station, and then to the export, which means all of that money goes back to that group and helps them grow. Now this particular harvest is of a variety called Tipica, which is known as the mother of all coffees because Tipica is one of the oldest varieties and pretty much every other variety under the Arabica family is either a mutation naturally occurring or a people cultivated coffee. And because it's grown at such high altitudes, somewhere between 1600 to even beyond 2000 meters above sea levels, it's known as SHB or SHG, which stands for strictly hard beans or strictly high grown. And that gives it a really complex, intense, sweet flavor. And the process they use is called a natural process, which means the coffee cherries from the tree are dried out on raised beds in the sun first before they're depulped. And they're a high quality and well sought after coffee because they also add to that intensity and that complex and that rich, sweet flavor. So there's some background on this beautiful region and I can't wait to visit it one day in the future. But now it comes to my favorite part, trying the coffee. So let's run it through our coffee machine and see how it comes out. So I'm gonna be using a 21 gram precision basket through a naked quarter filter made by the Posado guys, thanks for that. And we're gonna put in about 22 grams. So just overdosing it a slight bit and just getting that extra punch out of it. Man, there is just, that's lemon citrus, the delightful, like really yummy with a very light chocolatey finish on that. Mm, absolutely stunning there. All right, now we can try it with milk and let's see what different flavors we might get out of that.
Ah uh, yeah, now I'm really tasting some milk chocolates coming through and very mellow flavours, really nice. Mm. It does have a fruity edge to it as well, so I noticed that there's a bit of berries, sort of tropical fruits with some milk chocolate lingering. Mm. Yeah, love it. I can really see why they gave it a quality score of 89. So for those of you who understand about quality scores, 89 is very, very high on the scale from 0 to 100. And I can see why it is. It's natural, organic, delicious in both black and milk coffees. And we're selling this now in 250 gram, 500 gram and a kilo bag so you can try it out. If you want to, jump online at Coffee Beans Delivered and enjoy some Mexican organic Grupo Toruño Nayarita. Probably said it so horribly wrong. I wish someone from the region would correct me. So please jump on and buy some of this lovely coffee and support that group. As always, I'm Ryde from Coffee Beans Delivered. Enjoy your brew.